G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Zawoodle and welcome back to 7 Days to Die where we are back in our mega city and the sun is slowly rising to shed some light on the consequences of all of my bad decisions. I've definitely painted myself into a corner at this point and I'm not sure how I'm going to get out of it with all of my limbs still attached to my various joints. Today is the day where I'm finally going to go and pick a fight with all of the screamers in the world. I'm going to light a bunch of fires, hide in my base, and pray they don't find me too quickly. Because I need another level up to make myself a better drone. DD has to be made. I need to be as good as possible. But me, in all of my infinite and boundless, and by that I mean about as deep as a short puddle, all of my wisdom, I've used all of my steel. Making all the guns I thought were going to be better and they weren't. And listen, okay, it's been a bad 24 hours for me. Let's just pretend I'm not that much of a Muppet. So I'm going to head out today. The sun's now up. Head to my horde base. Start lining some fires like my inner pyro would. Call in some friends and hopefully things go well. I do have, importantly, a new SMG. Chock a block full of AP 9mm ammo for when a demo inevitably starts tearing through my base. That's my backup plan. It's not a good one, but it's the only one I've got. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if it's my gut feeling that's making me feel a bit queasy, or the fact that I had like three cups of coffee and nothing but some cocoa pots for breakfast this morning. So the caffeine and sugar is all hitting me at the same time. But I'm, uh, I'm not feeling... Oh, jeez, all right, calm down there, superstar. Squealing in the bushes over there. I'm not feeling especially confident about this. I have been playing Seven Days for a fair old yard at this point. I've had a fair whack of Seven Days under my belt. And uh, I've learned that you don't pick fights with screamers lightly. They're designed purely to mess you up if you make too much noise. And now I'm deliberately getting out there with a freaking megaphone trying to call in all the problems in the world. It's such a bad idea, even on paper and out loud and all sorts of variations of it. It's a terrible bleeding idea, but I gotta do it anyway. <laughs> Right, before I do this, I need to make sure that I'm doing this right. What don't I need on me right now? Your chockers anyway, so I can't shove anything into them. I don't need... I'm going to be wearing my XP goggles, so I don't need any of you. I don't need my, um, what's we call my crossbow either. You can all hang out down the bottom here so I don't lose you. Don't need dollar dollary-doos, don't need bombs, and don't need lockpicks. This lot I need uh, to make myself the fire, so I'll leave you in there. I definitely need the learning elixir. I probably need these things either. Just anything I don't need on me right now, I need to get rid of. So I'm nice and clear, clean, simplified. Because I get distracted by anything even moderately shiny. I left all my steel at home, which is a little bit short-sighted of me. But that's alright, I got the concrete, got my nail gun, just in case I need to do some repairs. Although, Everything kind of in front of me, everything zombie facing, except that actually is all steel, so I can't do much repairs anyway. Uh, I'm not going to roll with the AK, I don't think. I'm just going to stick with the SMGs, and I'll actually grab you, and I'll quickly take the suppressor off this one, chuck you in. Suppressor's going to do less damage anyway. I want everything I've got to try and make this work out for me. You can go there. I've got recog. I've got plenty of ammo. Lots of ammo, actually. I think I'm about as good to go as I'm ever going to be. Now, I'm not going to turn on... Oh, actually, I'll drink a bit of you. I'm not going to turn on the blade traps and electric fences because that's going to kill the... um. That's going to kill the screamer. And I don't want to kill the screamer because the screamer can call in more screamers. You get that chain reaction going, which is how I'm going to farm all the XP. In fact, what I am going to do... It might call in a couple of birds, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is try and find a place where I can chuck Sammy the Sledge outside because I can't put him in here because he's not going to do anything but if I put him like over there or something if a screamer does get to the fence I don't want to kill her but Sammy can bonk her off to the side yeah no I think that's a good idea it's going to use my grenade shooter somewhere to stand and get this all sorted out chuck you down like that okay so if that's where the slot is I'll just move on out a little bit oh things are starting to glow yellow so I'm right on the cusp of making a real hash of this if I chuck you there, and then Sammy goes, come on, Sammy, go where I want you to go. Oh, the electric fence is blocking it. All right, hold on. If I put you under, can you aim up and bonk him off to the side that way? Or am I just barking up the wrong bloody tree? What if I chuck you like there and put you right on the edge? No? Oh, that's the same spot as last time, Josh. All right. Um, How about that one? Is that going to work for me? Oh god, it had like a moment of freezing. I was like, oh, please don't tell me I just collapsed my entire house because I chucked Sammy down. 
I don't think I can put it like right there actually because you will start breaking the electric fences. Where's the best spot for you then? I don't know, Sammy. Talk to me. Before I chuck you down, Sammy, I'll give you a cheeky, uh, well, I was going to say reload, but a cheeky repair. Chuck you in just there. Do I have any mods I can chuck into you to make you a bit better? Like, yeah, kind of. I think you can find this by yourself. I'm here for your excellent uh, noggin bonkin rather than anything else. But if I chuck you there, that should do the job for me. Ow, that's a spike, Josh, you muppets. Also, half my spikes are gone. I have to quickly repair those. Grab some wood and get your sword out. Oh, God. I thought for a second there I'd made something steal, but no, it's fine. God, I'm just panicking all over the shop at the moment. I'm basically all ready to go, but I do need to put in a new hatch down here, which I just need to go and grab a little bit of iron from around the joint. 15 out of you. I think it's 40, 40 for the hatch itself, and then another couple to, to upgrade it. So anything that's metallic is going to get broken down. Plus, anything metallic that you break adds to your heat as well. So this is all kind of like early prep, like foreplay for a screamer. Because I think that's how you make people scream. I don't know. I've got no experience in the matter. We are almost ready. Just upgrade that one. That's all looking pretty spiffing and lovely. There we go. Close your both. No one's getting through. The ladder's three blocks high now, so definitely no access route for them. Chuck you back away, back where you came from. Okay, that there, that there, I think this is as good as it's going to get. I'll put you back into that one, though. All right, let's go light a bunch of fires then. I mean, this place is already basically cinders anyway, so not a massive risk. Plus, I'm in the middle of a downpour. So environmentally-wise, nothing's going to get singed, except probably me. It's not the easiest thing to see because all of my previous transgressions against physics has left the ground a little bit uh, humpty dumpty down here, but we'll manage as best we can. Chuck you into there. Turn on. It wasn't quite the one in the corner. I did bring this fuel explicitly for this because it was free and it lasts for eight minutes. Chuck you in, turn you on. Should I need like one at a time? Ugh, I don't know. I might have to reload it, but 16. I've got 16 campfires down. 16 campfires all ablaze. That doesn't call in a screamer. I don't know what will. I'm really pulling out all the stops here. I'm going as quick as I can because the last thing I want is to be out and about doing this, lighting fires when the screamers do show up, which would be just my bleeding luck. There you go. I think everything's almost ablaze now. Chuck you in. That's an awful lot of fire. I did build it underneath the drop to maybe set a couple of them. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that because I don't want to kill the screamers. But all right, they're there now. We'll see how we go. Close the doors behind me. And now all we're going to do is wait. Sammy the Sledge is hanging out waiting for some friends. All right, SMGs are not loaded. Quickly put some bullets into you. All right, I'm ready. Let's do it. Oh, I hear... Oh, g'day, love. I was going to say, here's some rustling, and sure enough, here she comes. Need you to squeal for me, though. <laughs> she started to moan, and Sam and the Sledge gave her a right old spank. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. All right, well, I need to... No, that was the screamer. Hopefully she called it. Oh, yeah, there we go. There's another screamer coming in, so we're okay. We're doing all right. So as long as I kill them while they're out there, we'll be good and ready to go. Probably not a... Ooh, loot bag. Pro Shit, Josh, idiot. Probably not a bad idea to pop in some, um... What should we call it? Some recog at some point, so I can kill them a little bit faster. But I've got plenty of it, so I'll do that as well. Ooh. Oh, that was the screamer. I was going to say, I thought it was like a demon from Darkness Falls, but no, probably just fell into my, um... Into my, uh, campfires downstairs. But I knew it was a bad idea. God, the recog makes a difference, though. She's still yelling and screaming, calling in all her friends, which is lovely to see. <laughs> Every time I see it, I get a bit nervous. Screamer's gone. Bullets are gone. There's more coming, though. Thanks, love. See you next time. Bring all your friends. It's a house party. You know what? I put some of the sledge there just as, like, a, a way to get rid of the screamers without actually killing them so I could use them for my own perverted purposes. But having them there... It means that I'm actually not really in trouble at all. If they do make it to the fence here, then I'm covered for anything. You know, so if I'm reloading or doing anything else, I don't need to worry too much about it. Get rid of the Rad Skomo and the Yeti. They're still screaming. That's all fine. This is working a treat. This is, I mean, I might have to leave Sammy there forever now. It's a good addition. There's a lot of zombies getting called in by the screamers, but so far, relatively okay. Excuse me, I need you to die for me, though. There we go. You need to... 
Get off my bloody Sammy ledge. Nope, nope. All right, he's gone. See you later then. Uh, so far, relatively so good. A bunch of rads and whites and all sorts of bad things that give me lots of experience. But more importantly, so far, no demos or anything. I don't even really want to knock on wood. You can throw demos at me. It's fine. But once in my life, I'm actually kind of prepared for it. Save the screamer. There you go. Kill everyone coming up. No, damn it. Sorry. Try not to kill the screamers, Josh. They're valuable assets. You can't get rid of them so haphazardly. We're not far away. Oh, old mate's hanging out on Sammy's turret, though. Might need to reconsider how I've designed that little ledge for him. If zombies can stand on it, that's not what I'm after. <laughs> That's your fucking later there. I'm gonna call you Jiggly Puff, but don't even think I need to say Puff. Get rid of, it, rid of the rest of your bonds, mate. Level up. That's what I'm here for. I mean, while everyone's still here, though, might as well pop on the learning link so I can keep the train going. Might get on the recog in as well. Sam used to work while I faff about on the beverage cart. Oh, it's a good time, though. It's a good time. This is working a peach. All right, things are starting to get a little busier right now, so I might need to just... Oh, there goes a cop somewhere. Might need to just aim down the range and hold the trigger and waste an entire magazine to waste as many zombies as we can. Cheeky extra 10,000 experience. Then I think I'll just get through this learning elixir, then I'll turn all the electricity, get the whirly birds going and be satisfied with that. I mean, I can just clean that nice and easily with all my electro traps. Don't want to burn through all of my ammo. That's very important to me. I need ammo for the Horde Knight. Can't get distracted by this little shindy. I can hear a derpo coming in. It's a really inconvenient time because I'm kind of in the middle of something right now. Who's, oh, no. Screamer on the ledge. Screamer on the ledge. But I can't quite see. Did she die or fall off or something? I'm not entirely sure. I assume Sam will clear it up at some point if there is any issues over there. Also, I'm going to punch in the face at some point. And I don't really remember what happened to the session with all the murder that's been going on, of which there is a lot. Yeah, I'm going to have to, like, reinforce that Sammy platform and get him as part of, like, everyday horde night stuff. Because he's doing work over there. Me and him, great tag team. I think we're down to the last few. Just rinse your bit. Try and score some clean headshots by actually using the saw. Oh, God. G'day, buddy boy. i using the sights for a change. That is exactly what I was after. Couple more. All right. We should be almost done here. 40... That's a funny spider zombie. Keeps popping up and getting swatted in the cheeks by Sammy the Sledgy Boy. There we go. This has been an ugly little battle. There's probably more damage done to my base out of this lot than has happened to really any of the hordes. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, yeah, that didn't go. Look at all the ammo I've used. I'll chuck you guys away. Everything can go into there. That's fine. I'll go through and reestablish my normal loadout after this, but... uh. Yeah, no, that was uh, that was not as clean as I would hope it would have been. Give me the concrete. I've got some repairs to do. I think that's all my normal stuff. Uh, that can just go into that one, actually. That's all good. Oh, I couldn't have turned on the electricity because all my batteries and engines are stashed away in case the game decides to steal them from me again. Lock in the eight. There we go. Quickly change over the suppressor for the muzzle brake. In you go. All right, I think I'm good to go. Yeah, it's had to do a little bit of repairs along the joint to get it back up into fighting condition. But more importantly, got that skill point I so desperately needed. Robotics Inventor. Boom. Level 3 DD. Could go high if I had more points, but I can't. So she's going to have two mod slots. You now need 20 steel. I think I had 18, didn't I? See, so two more bits of steel. That's not too much of an ask. Four motion sensors now. God, like a max level DD is basically an arachnid. Eyes coming out of everywhere. Yeah, they did too. That's a good old lot of damage down there. I did hear a lot of cops exploding down to the ground level as well. So, gonna need to go down there and make sure all the supports are still about as good as they could be. How you look at? Oh my god. That is uncomfortably close to me dying. I didn't even think about that. Josh, there's a freaking rookie out around here. You're not like digging your supports down into the deck at all. You're just plumping it on top of some pretty fragile ground. We all know that sand has the structural integrity of wet cum-filled paper mache. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that's terrible. Oh God. Okay, I need to. I need to come back. I need to dig some supports down, put some pylons down to the depths because that's that's not good. Well, listen. In the meantime, I'm gonna put that very close brush with death as far behind me as I can. 
and grab whatever loot I can find. Grab all of you. I'm going to need to do some pretty... Ooh, no, I've already got one of those, don't I? I have to do some pretty serious upgrades to this. Can you even go into this? No, you can't. It's just for the bow, not the crossbow. All right, fair whackers, knackers. I can't believe I overlooked that. That's bloody rookie hour. Bloody rookie hour and almost cost us big time. Oh, man. I thought I heard... I, oh, it's a tough shot. Oh, took a quick and only just whiffed it. I was going to say, I definitely heard some sort of moaning and growing going out here. There's a bloody screamer wandering about. I'm not really in the mood to have another screamer fight right now. Maybe some other time. Don't know why you're wandering about out there and not coming over and saying g'day. That's a little rude. Right. Okay, well, I've got my DNA point now, so I can chuck you back into them. I need to focus on that. I've got a fair bit of concrete, I've got a fair bit of materials to do the upgrades I need, but digging out the ground underneath my base to rebuild supports, that's going to be pretty dicey. Oh, I've got to do it though, because if I have like another, oh god, imagine if I tickled a demo, he fell off there and exploded the ground underneath my base, it'd be all over. Oh, that's a risk I can't take, especially because I can't fire down to kill anyone down below, maybe to put in like a little shoot or something here, so I can actually kill something that falls down there. Oh man, I'm I'm very on edge right now. Well, let's try and put that uh, <laughs> a rather close call behind us and head back home again. Need to stop off along the way through all of the more rural areas of the town and look for the little uh, green smiling robot. There's one right there, actually. I'll break that down to get some extra steel out of you. Um, uh, go like that, put myself a little pile on. Maybe curious why I call it the green smiling robot, but it's because... Look at that! He's a smiley green robot looking dude that I'm about to dismember and take all his innards for my own to various purposes. But thank you, Mr. Green Smiling Robot. I could have given you a name, but nah, it's fine. Let's not get attached. Just breaking down a couple of street lights along the way to grab some extras. That's six I've got now, which I think should be enough, but having some extra steel wouldn't be a bad idea. Can't believe, I still can't believe. Ooh. Still can't believe I used so many of my uh, my forged steel. That's oh, already empty, it would have been here before. Making all those SMGs for basically nothing. Probably should have thought a little bit further ahead than just the next six seconds, Josh. Not your brightest moments. Definitely not the sharpest tool in the cutlery drawer. But I'll head back home, I'll make my DD, shove some pockets on her, and hear her soothing robotic voice once again. I've missed my friend. I'm excited to have her back. You know what I just realized though? I never actually stuck my head out of that base. I was too busy being distracted by all of the zombie murder. I never stuck my head out of my base to see where that derpo came down. So, somewhere out there over the hills or rainbows or whatever's going on, there's a derpo that will probably never be found. Maybe I'll stumble across it one day. Who bloody knows? All right, whatever I can stash into there, that all goes away. Same goes for your nose. In you go. Do I try and push to do the upgrades to the pylons now? Or do I make DD, go on a cheeky bit of raid, try and finish off one of those book series I desperately need to finish, and then focus on tomorrow, getting more steel and, oh, do, we, do we need to be steel though, or just concrete? It needs to be stronger than the regular ground, but maybe just concrete pylons going down, three or four blocks will be enough. And I save the steel for upgrades and like more important parts. Like, yes, that's important, but Concrete should do the job for one or two explosions. Steel might stand up for three, though. Oh, it's a tough call. All right, well, I'm going to need more steel regardless. I do have to go back to the apartment building at some point and put another lot on the go. By the time I get back there, though, hopefully more of my, like, iron and clay is smelted into it. I might have a better chance of getting some more resources out of it. What else did I need? Deeds, what do you need? Steel, duct tape, polymers, motion sensors. Duct tape, polymers, motion sensors are in... Not there, I lied. There they are, grab you. And robotics parts. All right, that's fine, I got those. Hold on to Jiffy. There you are, a whole whacking stack of them. Chuck you on drone. Drone? Wait, what am I missing? Excuse me, I've got everything I need, don't I? I need more freaking duct tape. Damn it, everything's so expensive. There we go. Now I can make it. It's going to take two and a half minutes, but that's okay. Deeds, I've waited for you this long. What's another couple of ticks of the clock before I can have you whirling about me head again? I'm looking forward to it. You can go into them. Um, that's all fine. And I'll grab your mods as well. You've got to be well stocked when I get you. I'm not sure if I can still double stack the cargo. I'll try. Or if I want to run the morale booster instead. 
stamina regeneration by 10%. Am I actually running out of stamina much anymore though? Maybe for mining, I'll whack on the fuzzy stuff and have some companionship. But for raiding, I'd rather the pockets. Kind of like a horses for courses or a drones for uh, aerodomes? I don't know. You know what? I'm going to go with drones for super domes. Doesn't quite match, but it's about as close as I'm going to get. Normally, when I'm crafting something, I'd go away and do something else and let myself get distracted because I have about the attention span of a flattened out teaspoon. Uh, I just can't do it, but for Dee Dee, I will sit here and wait. She has the utmost of my attention already before she even exists. <sighs> there you are! Dee Dee's back! Real quick, modify, you can have... You can still have both the cargoes on. That's real bloody exciting. Actually, in fact, I'll stuff your morale booster mod inside you for later use. Oh, Deeds. Oh, Deeds, it's been so long. Talk to me, Deeds. Startup sequence activated. Ah, oh, she's back, Deedee. I missed you so much. Oh, the sound of your propellers just gives me all the warm, fuzzy feelings. I'm feeling about as warm and as snug as if I just crawled inside a freshly microwaved burrito and was just lapping up all of that delicious sauce. Oh, Deeds, listen. It's been a while. It's been a while. We have to, like, take a moment to savor this occasion. Dee Dee, come here, sweetheart. Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Pat, pat, pat. Oh, I'm wearing the wrong shirt in my Dee Dee pet to give you a pat. Don't need to pat my tit for you anymore, Deeds. You're here. You know, and in the flesh, but in the robotics, fucking all the pats. Here you go. You can hold on to this for me in case I need you later on. Oh, it's so good to have you back hovering around me. I know I'm going to yell at you for getting in the way before too long, but for the moment, I'm just enjoying your company. What the, what the dick did I just do? I tried to close the hatch and I broke my ladder. Did you see that, DD? Or did you do that, DD? I'm on to you. Already causing shenanigans. All right, well, hold on a jiffy. I need to fix that. Then we can go adventuring. DD and Wordle back at it again. The dream team is back. Here we go. Chuck it back down. I want the hinges to go that way. There we go. Don't know why I had such an issue with that last time. I'm just not going to close it now. Oh. No, the ladder's still there. I just heard something break, though. Is someone out here causing a problem? Yes, there is. I was going to say, I could hear something causing a ruckus, but it wasn't me or Deeds for a change. All right, Dee, Dee Hope you're ready. We're up and about. Loot and specs on. Let's go see what awaits us in the town. Oh, the ultimate pair is tearing up the city once again. Look at her. Look at her floating around back there. I'm so happy. I don't even really know what I'm looking for. Like, yes, a bookstore would be lovely, but I know there's not that many in this town. I don't think I've searched these newspaper stands, though. I have. God, I really have been everywhere. Ogany and brother. All right, apparently we found bloody Quagmire's uh, business. Might have a little screws through there if I can't find anything better. Have a little look-see around town to see what's available. Mm, or maybe I just... Maybe I'll stop asking... Oh, I've got a good feeling about this, Deeds. You out here warned me of the impending doom. What more could I want? Look at that. You line them up, Deeds, and I'll sit them down. You mean the Dolce. Oh, it's a good combo. All right, listen, Deeds. I know it's late in the day and the sun's setting, but I'm too excited to take you with me on an adventure that I reckon the Shocker Messiah here isn't a bad shout. It's a cheeky tripler, which can be a bit... Do all right, you dingo dickbag. Calm your bloody furry farm. See, if you had the stay quiet over there, I never would have known you would have been there and you'd still be alive right now. You're one of the few remaining non-zombified organisms out here. Probably just pipe down just a little bit like you're interrupting my study session when I crash on your couch with my air purifier. Come on, dudes. Let's get through here nice and quickly. Let's get some excitement in our lives. Fast game is very much a good game. I'm relying on DD behind me to warn me if there's any nefarious Muppets coming up and having a crack at me clacker. Uh, grab all of you. Come on, nice and quickly. Jeez, it's already 8 o'clock. Today is gone in a blink. I'm not even going to lie. I, I, I know I fought a bunch of Muppets this morning, but even so, time has uh, slipped away from me a little bit. Anything in use? Scrap you for the iron. There we go. I pressed the button. I swear I did. Grab the lead. Also scrap that. Have a cheeky coffee. And a frothy because why not? Coffees and frothies are as peak as it gets. I may be blurry, but I'm armed to the teeth and overcompensating. 
I'm not sure how, but apparently being drunk has made my gunplay better. Ooh, tier 4 leg arm. I think I've got tier 5 at the moment. I do. Really only my titties left being a little bit unprotected. They're definitely out and kind of floating about in the breeze. Remember, that's why so many enthusiastic zombies are coming after me. Scrap you. Don't need either of those, though. I mean, sweet gun rack, but apparently my rack is much floppy and therefore much better. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this joke anymore. One of those, I was going to say, one of those is a zombie closet. They both were, but murdered the inhabitants, so we're good to go. An extra coffee. Oh, now we're really getting our buzz on. Oh, look at that. Some extra purple dye as well. Grab you. Uh, I don't actually need you at all. Dee, get down here, please. I have a present for you, and I hope you're going to like it. Come on, there you are. There you are. Can I open you up? Yes, I can. Slap you in. Give you a nice, lovely, lovely paint job. Looking spiff and neat. I mean, it would be rude not to, wouldn't it? You've got literally targets hanging out on the ammo bench, so... I've got a bad feeling about Ooh, this. Oh, cheeky double tap. I've got a good feeling about this because I'm clattering claret all over the bleeding place. Come on. This way, superstar. Proud of you. Cheeky double tap again. Finish you off nice and easily. Dolce doing all the heavy lifting. You see that, Deans? I hope you're set to record. I'm going to upload my sweet 360 no-scope COD montage to YouTube later. Not a lot in the equipment racks, but I did find a tier 2 tacky boy. I am still rolling... Ooh, I'll grab that concrete. I am still rolling the uh, the tier 6 AK at the horde base, which is a little bit long in the tooth at this point. Wouldn't mind upgrading to a tacky boy if I could, but I've only ever found ones and now a two. It's the best one I've found so far, and it's still not particularly great. How you doing, ScoMo? Let me just quickly remove you from everybody's list of rather unfortunate grievances. Can't go that way. I can start to hear the crickets chirping outside, though, so I've got to keep on pushing as quick as we can. Up, up. No, maybe not up and over. Come on, parkour. Don't let me down now. In fact, this seems like a bad room. Nice and easy. I mean, I'm going fast, but I'm not going stupidly. Nice and quiet. Like, I'll even turn off my headlight. Oh, there's you. No, I woke up for that. That's all well and good. Sneak around the outside here. This is what I mean, though. See, if I was going... My senses have picked up Shit. something. If I was going faster and not worrying about stealth, it'd be much easier and much faster to kill them charging at me. Sometimes, I like to think I'm still a little bit quiet, like a nice, quiet shy boy. Got 10 more minutes before night time. And from memory, I'm pretty sure there's, like, some rads and stuff. Oh, through here. So, might need to pay a little bit more observant than... Shit, then I just was. Nope. Oh, for goodness sake. I stopped you in your tracks and you still whipped the old salami sticks out of me like you're catering for a birthday party. Either put out some bloody carrot sticks and celery sticks. You don't need to go too over the top. Maybe some shaved ham as well. Incoming enemy. Oh. Cheers, knackers. Good to have you backing me up again, Dees. There is a cheeky working vendo here with... Mm, nothing I really especially need. I might take the frost because I used most of mine to make the learning elixir. Uh, and also just because, you know, buying a couple of froffies. In fact, here, Deeds, Deeds, here, listen. I'll have one, you have one. There you go, one for you, one for me. Grab that. Cheers, big ears. Wait, bonk, there you go. Chuck you in. Get a little bit fuzzy with it. Hope you're fuzzy too, Deeds, because we're going to have a good time. I can hear quite a lot of ruckus going on. All right, I kind of regret drinking that beer because... I can't see a dick at the moment. Uh, oh, yep, here's them. And they're there. All right, they're, they're all... Hang on a second. Hang on. Let's grab that. And let's grab that. And really make light work of this. If you guys want to hurry up a little bit, please, because I need to get through the door so I can carry on where I left off last time. Oh. Okay. Hold on. Oh, no, I said hold on, you muppets. For goodness sake, you rude dicks. I was putting my pants on. I have to speak up and wearing a freaking towel. Yeah, SMG, definitely the right option. That could have got well out of hand very quickly. But instead, the only thing out of hand is my ammo consumption. Chuck your boot and specs back on and admire my handiwork. See what's in their pockets. Just some ammo and some tea. All right, not too shabby. What's the time? It's 10 to 11. I was gonna say, they should wake up pretty quickly in here. That was a clean headshot. You should have died, but nah, I guess not then. Come on. Come on, Dolce. Don't let me down now. I've been singing your praises for a week or more. You dead? 
I don't know. I don't know if I trust you. The zombies have woken up before. Who's to say it won't happen again? I mean, I'm not going to turn down all of this concrete either. Given that now I need to build a bunch of columns under my horde base, some extra resources is nothing to turn your nose up at. Grab all of this. And in fact, I need to remember this... That was weird. I need to remember this POI for next time. The next time I need some concrete, this is the place to come to. There's about as much in here as it was in that factory that time. It's almost midnight, but I'm up onto the roof. Get my crouch going again. It's probably going to be a pretty considerable fight waiting for me up here. So don't get complacent as much as you can. It's all looking good. All right, come on, Deeds. Let's do this. The last rung on this zombified ladder. I've got a bad feeling about this. No, it's fine. It's fine. The SMG will see us through. If, is it just the one? Oh, no. Here comes more. Hold on. Maybe the dogs will see us through anyway. We don't need the SMG after all. Alrighty then. <laughs> that was considerably better than I was anticipating. Thank you for the donation. Quickly reload my Zombie Killer 3000. There's nothing else here. Alright, nice. Well, it should just mean that there's nothing left here but me and the loot. So quickly skirt around. There's all the loot that I'm coming for. I remember the days and there was a hole in the building right there that you could sneak through to come and get all your loot much easier than otherwise, but they've patched that up now. That's fine. You know, I'll work for my loot. I don't mind too much. With these weapons, it's barely even breaking a sweat. Everything's open and ripe for the picking. I'll actually use Deeds, though, for what I have it for and whack all my extras into you. Hold on to that for me, Deeds. Thank you very much. It's so good to have you back. Pat, Pat, freaking Pat. All right, gun store box, loot and specs on. What have you got for me? Steel arrowheads, not too shabby. Always a fan of having more ammo. Uh, I'll scrap you. I'll take the bullet tips. What's in this one? Another gun store box. Scrap you for the lead. Scrap you for the iron. Leave the spear parts behind. I don't know why I insist on giving me so many of those bloody things, but if I ever, was ever going to make them, would have had all of it a long time ago. Scrap you. Last not least, though, grab... Ooh, grab the reinforced chest. Cheeky treasure map. Old mate Cesar leaving his little nuggets of awesome around the joint. Another chainsaw schematic. I'll take that. Take the rest of you. All right, let's have a squeeze. Sarah, what you got for me, sweetheart? Where are you sending me? Show on the map. Select the quest does not have a look. You son of a bitch. Don't tell me you've glitched out on me, Sarah. Come on. Don't do this to me. Did you not? Did you not chuck? So it was a map to nowhere. You're sending me on a wild goose chase. Sarah, that's heckin' freaking mean. So it says up in the top right corner, it says locate treasure nearby. And I can turn that on and off. Does that mean that like it's buried here? Like am I within the area? So that's why it's kind of glitched out and not showing me on the map because it's like removed the waypoint because I'm right on top of it. There's no... What? There's no like uh like uh yellow circle or anything around, so I wouldn't think it was here. Whoa! What is what is what is happening? Can someone much smarter than me, who is basically everyone, can someone explain to me what the dick is going on? Because either I just got rogered by the treasure map, or I'm missing something very obvious and I'm a schmuck for it. I don't know. I don't know. Either way, someone let me know what the hell I'm supposed to do with that because I'm just having not the foggiest idea. I'm going to head back home, back to my sweet little town hall base, and just count my blessings. I've got good guns, I've got AP ammo, and a second SMG, and I've got my best friend back. What more could you ask for? It's just a good day to be me today. Pull up the bike next to the flagpole, as you do. No longer need to worry about going into my inventory and grabbing shit out of you anymore. Deeds is carrying all of my burdens, like she's a, uh, a, a pretty good house Carl called Lydia. God, Skyrim was a good game way back when. Up we go. Put all my stuff away. Man, I just had a good day today. I'm all smiles. Apparently, DD is having a little bit of trouble figuring out how a freaking ladder works. You can fly, DD. You don't need to worry about the ladder. There you go. Uh, grab all of you. I can't lock your inventory with the inventory slot lock mod, which is still, like, the best quality of life mod you can get for seven days. So I'll take all of that and quickly... Actually, can I... Let's have a bit of squeeze at you. Let's grab you and chuck you on. Ah. 
It's even softer and pattier, pat, pat, pat. Good to see you have a face and a smile, deeds. Always lovely. I'll chuck you into there for later and put all this stuff back away again. It is 2 a.m., so I've got to wrap this up, but I feel like I feel like we made some progress today, but also several steps backwards. Okay, before I do anything, give me my concrete. I'm sorry, my cement. Give me that. Give me the crushed sand. Give me... Ooh, I'm actually short on stones at the moment. That's fine. If I go... Oh, I do need you to upgrade blocks, though. Okay, let's not be too gung-ho about, like, scrapping all of my cobblestone. That might be handy later on. But I just want to go quickly make, like, I don't know, like, 440 in you. Nope. Oh, that was close. Sorry, take it back. That one. Where? I'm going to go 440 in you. Like that. And then whatever's left in the other one. There we go. So I need another... Another, like, 500 stones, I suppose. All right, that's not too bad. Give me, like, half of that, I suppose. I'm not sure what it's going to take. I'll chuck you into there and quickly go scrap. Only 187. So 500 doesn't actually give me 500. No, there's a conversion right there that's dog shit. So never mind. I'll just go and get some stones from somewhere and not waste all my cobble. But I'll get some concrete cracking on. I've got concrete left over already because I need to. It's now day 62. The next horde is tomorrow night. So I now need to go and put some pylons into the ground under my horde base. Lickety split. Can't delay that really at all. So I'll do that. For day 62 then day 63 when the horde's gonna show up i can focus on making sure i have the ammo my base uh, my, my base my base is up to par i'm giving dd all the pats that she deserves and hopefully find those bloody books i need those books i know it seems daft that i'm so desperate to find them but they're so bleeding important and i found so many other things multiple times the game's just taken the piss by not giving me either the urban combat book the bloody nine millimeter book or the magnum book any of those three would tickle me giblets ever just so. But no, it refuses to do that for me. So I have to come back and do those things and face, or get rid of the face next horde in the next episode because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the Patreon, the Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked it, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.